In this video we're going to have a look at how we do the second part of floating point number conversion which is to do um, handling negative values because quite often in an exam question these are posed as um, two's complement values so you might have a negative uh, you might have a negative mantissa but you might also have um, a negative exponent as well so how you go about dealing with those. So first of all uh, we're going to put a positive mantissa in just because this one is a slightly more straightforward one to work with. So 0 0.1001 and then 0000. 000. And then our exponent is going to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So what we do with this one then uh, is this number here is going to be a small positive number. And I know that because the exponent is going to dictate whether the mantissa decimal point moves left or right. And in this case, the decimal point is going to move to the left hand side. Okay. Um, in positive exponents, the decimal place moves to the right, which creates a larger number. In the negative, it moves to the left to create a smaller number. So what I have to do with this is I have to convert it into its two's complement format. So to do that, I'm just going to go up to, up to and including the first zero, uh, up to including the first one rather, and then change all the zeros to ones and ones to zeros thereafter. So it's going to remain the same here and here, but then thereafter it is going to be switched around. And it's important to say at this point that this is going to be an answer of minus four. So our mantissa is going to move four places to the left hand side rather than right hand side. So if we write this out now, what we should end up with. Um, is a mantissa which looks like a bit like, I'm just going to make sure we keep the right number of zeros in, one, two, three, four. So, yeah, so then we've got one, zero, zero, one, and I can only include one extra zero on the end, but that doesn't really matter. So, what you can see now is that because the decimal place has gone to the left, when I convert this back, I've now actually got a very small. Um, uh, number to be represented here. In actual fact, that's a half, a 16, 32. I've got 1 over 64, and I've got 122.6, 1 over 5, 12. So you can add 1 over 5, 12 to 1 over 64 if you want. Um, I personally would just go 1, 2, 4, 8. I would just put 0, it'd be 9 over 512 would be my final answer that I would give. And it's a positive value, but as you can see, it's a very small positive value that I'm going to work with. So have a go at one now, and I'll put this on here. So let's do a, a mantissa of 0.1111. Zero, 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 and you can have an exponent of that there. Pause the video now, have a go, and then we will compare answers. Okay, so the final answer for this then, uh, we're going to, we clearly have got a small positive value. So to have a go at this, we're just going to write this out up here. So first of all, we take our exponent and we need to convert it because it begins with a 1, which means that it's negative. So everything up to include, including the first 1 is left alone. So 0, 1 is fine. And then thereafter, we're going to have four zeros. Okay, and so we know that our exponent is going to be minus 2 and I've been quite generous to you, I've been quite nice. So I'm now going to write out my mantissa with the decimal place shifted 2 to the left which is going to be 0, 0, 0.00 I believe, 1 and then 2 so then it's just going to be 4 ones afterwards and then the remainder of zeros and so I can see that I've got a small positive value here. So if we write this out, uh, that's a half, that's a quarter, so we've got an eighth and we've got a 16th, and we've got a 32, and we've got a 64. So the way I would personally write this out is I've got 3 over 60 once, I've got uh, 1 64, I've got 2 64, 4 and 8, so 8 and 4, 12, 14, I've got 15 over 64, and that's my final answer that I would, uh, that I would write out, so that's a positive value. So now let's look at it the other way, and that is if we've got a, um, a negative mantissa. So um, in this particular one, this is going to create a small or large number, depending on what you have to do with the exponent, but it is going to create a mantissa where you have, um, it's going to be of a negative value the whole number. So it always starts with a 1, and then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to try and create a number that's not going to be too complicated for us to deal with. 
uh, but it can be a bit tricky to work these out. Let's go for one like that. Hopefully that won't be too harsh on us. And then we'll just go for a small exponent on this one. Like so. Okay, so exponent, first of all, nice and easy to deal with, is going to be a value of 2. Doing that terribly. Let's write that on there again. 2. And then our mantissa, we're going to need to perform 2's complement on. So the way that we do that is we go from the right hand side, least significant bit, everything up to and including the first one is left alone. And then thereafter, we convert everything to its opposite, like so. Okay? So now we're going to shift the decimal place over by two places, one, two. So our final answer that we're going to write out is going to be one, one, point, one, one. And I'm just going to ignore the rest of the zeros. I'm not going to bother putting those in. So on the left-hand side, I've got three. And on the right-hand side, I've got 3.75. Or I could write 3.3 over 4. It's up to you. But whatever you do, final answer is 3.75. And it is a minus. So we mustn't forget that. Okay, so I'm going to hand one over to you now to have a go at doing, and uh, the one I'm going to give you is 1.0000001000, and you can have an exponent of... Okay, so pause the video now, have a go at that, and then we'll go through the answer together. Okay, so to solve this one again, first of all, exponent is going to be a value of 4, so we're going to have that, and then our mantissa, which we're going to need to perform 2's complement on, we're going to leave everything up to and including the first one alone, so we're going to go like so, but then thereafter, we are going to have a lot of changes like that. So then we're going to move this 4 to the right hand side, 1, 2, 3, 4, so our answer is going to be written out as 1, 1, 1, 1.11 1. so we've got here what that's 15 on the on the left hand side uh, and then we've got 75 on the right hand side but don't forget it's minus so it's minus 15.75 and I hope you found that one okay uh, and that's how to do negative values floating point mantissas and exponents.